Drug is only warranted if the disease is caused by a lack of whatever the drug is going to provide. So, for example, insulin, which really shouldn't be called a drug, but a type 1 diabetic must take it because their disease is, I don't have insulin. Uh, a person with uh, a, a chronic thyroid disorder, they have to take thyroid hormone because their disease is, I don't have thyroid. But t uh, diabetes in any way, shape, or form or insulin resistance isn't caused by a lack of metformin this artificial pharmaceutical molecule. So we could never expect it to solve the problem. And it doesn't, of course, it just addresses some of the symptoms. So if someone is wanting to age well, I would say keep insulin low. And there's evidence to support that, including evidence I go into in the book. And that has led some to conclude, well, then metformin could be used as an anti-aging drug because metformin will help the insulin be down. The evidence does not support that. In fact, there is a rodent evidence to suggest that that does not happen at all explicitly, that metformin does not promote longevity. And moreover, there's human evidence to suggest that when someone is taking metformin, if they're exercising as well, the metformin is so damaging to the mitochondria in cells that it actually is mitigating the benefits of the exercise. Wow. So this drug is undoing the benefits of the exercise and the person is likely exercising to live longer and be more insulin sensitive. And the metformin is mitigating some of those benefits. So I am not an advocate of someone taking metformin because they think they're biohacking or something clever like that. If you are a type two diabetic or a person with insulin resistance and you want to control your PCOS or your hypertension, I think there could be a place for metformin. It is effective at improving insulin sensitivity, but there are consequences. And like with any drug, you're just hoping that the consequence you want, namely the improved insulin sensitivity, is worth the consequences you don't want, like the gut damage, the liver damage, et cetera. Because every drug, all you get is side effects. And again, you just hope that the side effects you want are worth the side effects you don't want.